are the party who has offered choice to parents in terms of child We're the ones that say, if you want to go to the institutional daycare, that's great. If mom and dad want to stay home and raise their children, that's great too. If granny or grandpa is available to help out or a neighbor, that's great. But that choice is a personal choice that should be made by the parents, not by the government. The Human Resources and Skills Development Minister Diane Finley in question period today. She's still under fire for comments she made last week saying a national child care program would mean parents would be forced to have other people raise their children. Now we heard from the minister on this show on Friday. She stood behind her comments and she said the government is giving parents choice. Well, let's hear from the opposition now. Would a national child care program really address the diverse needs of Canadians? parents and families and how much would the alternative to the Conservatives a hundred dollar a month child care subsidy actually cost joining me now is the Liberal uh, Human Resources critic Mike Savage and the NDP child care critic Olivia Chow and the Alberta Conservative MP Tim Uppel G gentlemen and lady welcome uh, good to good to see you uh, we heard from the minister on Friday the minister says the Conservatives approach to child care gives Canadians choice a hundred dollars a month tax benefits uh, Mike Savage let me start with you um, what's the argument that, that the Conservatives' approach isn't working and that the Minister insulted Canadians who send their kids to daycare? Well, I think both of those statements are very true. Uh, clearly, uh, we don't have as robust, or in fact, we don't have any national early learning and child care plan. The uh, uh, UNICEF did a study uh, a year or so ago that showed that Canada ranked dead last out of 25 OECD nations. Now, we have lots of great people working in child care, but we don't have a national system. And the, the comments by the minister uh, last week indicated that uh, she thinks that people who use child care are not doing a good job of raising their kids. Liberals know that raising our children is the most important thing that we can do. We want to help them, and we think a national early learning and child care plan is imperative to do that. Uh, and uh, we, we think it was an insult to Canadians to suggest otherwise. Mike Savage, the minister told me that the um, Ken Dryden, who proposed a national daycare plan, it would take $8,000 a child. Where would that money come from? Well, that, that's not the fact at all. Um, you can have an early learning and child care plan across this country for uh, much less than that, and I would suggest to you you could do it for a lot less than it costs to further reduce corporate tax cuts. Uh, but the investment that we need is in our children. Everybody knows that we need to invest in education in this country. If you don't invest in education, you're taking away the underpinnings of a good economy, and we can do an awful lot better with kids between the ages of one and six. Uh, all right, let me bring uh, Olivia Chow. The Liberal program that the Conservatives scrapped, they said would cost five billion dollars over five years although I'm not hundred percent sure how that that the details of how that money split uh, wh what's your view on what Minister Finley said and, and the options available to Canadians there are countless uh, working parents that uh, even before the baby is born they put their names of their baby uh, on a child care waiting list that's how desperate it is so really fundamentally there's no choice for a lot of working parents. Childcare, high quality licensed one uh, is quite costly and not necessarily affordable. Uh, if you have two kids, sometimes it's uh, more than the mortgage you pay. And uh, if, if parents put the kids in not licensed or uh, uh, unregulated childcare, sometimes tragedy happens. We saw one recently in Toronto where a baby um, died uh, and uh, the, the child care worker that's not licensed by the way is now charged with murder. So it, it's uh, it, this whole question about choice is that parents just are desperate and 70% of, of parents and mothers are working. So um, I don't know what planet uh, Diane Finley is from and what generation she's from. Um, we have to have a national child care program, which is why New Democrats put in legislation a national child care bill, an act, to enshrine it in law so that okay. other government cannot just cancel any kind of agreement, then just like health care, yeah. so it's a national program. Let me bring in uh, Tim Apple. Uh, first of all, I want to, Tim Apple, I want you to comment. This is the minister's comments that she made in the house okay that that's really have opened this debate up let me just play them for you this is from uh, last week the liberals that wanted to have make sure that parents were forced to have other people raise their children yeah. you don't believe in that mr Super. 
I, I recognize her argument is that she believes the government's plan gives That's choice, right. but does she owe working Canadian parents an apology for that particular comment? No, what she was saying is that the Conservative government plan really gives parents a choice, a choice, because we really we believe that parents are, are the best ones to choose. We believe in parents to make that choice. I know in my own case, I have a three-year-old and a 10-month-old, and we've made the choice. My wife is at home right now. When she goes to back to work, my, my, my mother-in-law will be helping out. And there's so many uh, diverse families across Canada, and the, the Liberal plan leaves those families out because what it does is uh, it's a, it's a one-size-fits-all plan for everybody. The Conservative government believes the parents know best, and the uh, our plan will give them a choice. They can choose. But, but they Mr. Care, Apple, they can I, choose I to have somebody else raise them. I recognize that your wife was able to stay home, and maybe it's because you guys make enough money. But does a hundred dollars a month really? And you know, you have two kids. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really cover legitimate child care costs. I've got two kids. It's it's significantly more expensive than a hundred dollars a month. Raising the question: Is that a legitimate? Is that actually a real choice you're giving Canadians? And it's not just $100 a month. What we've given, given Canadians, under the Liberal government, uh, under the Conservative government, Canadian families, the average Canadian family is now paying $3,000 less in taxes a year than under a Liberal government. So our overall plan for reducing taxes and helping Canadian families is actually putting money back into can Canadian families' but is 100, pockets. But my question was, is $100 it's more than a just month $100. a legitimate check? But is that, is, that, is that a real choice in terms of daycare? It's, it's more than just $100. It's an overall plan to help Canadian families. And the fact that they have $3,000 more under a Conservative government is helping them and it gives them the choice of how to raise their children. Mike Savage, again, there's, there's concerns about the Liberal. They, I know they have this plan that was put forward during Martin, $5 billion. But uh, again, there's questions about what that would accomplish and, and uh, how comprehensive that would be and, and frankly where the money would come from. Well, uh, you know, we can, we can debate how much money is required. There's a, there's a number of different scenarios. We've committed to having a national system of early learning and child care, dealing with the professionals in this country and talking to parents to find out what's necessary. Now, you talk to child care professionals about the Ken Dryden plan, the Liberal plan, they'll tell you that it worked. But it's not choice to give people $100 a month unless you also, with the check, give them a list of you know, quality child care spaces in their community they can get for 25 bucks a week. There are none. There is no choice. $100 a month is not a choice. We're not going to take the money away. We know parents can use that money, but it is not uh, providing early learning and child care. And Canada is failing uh, not only its early childhood educators, but Canadian families uh, by not investing in educating our children between the years of year zero and six, supporting families uh, in educating their children. Uh, Actually, the, the uh, Liberal plan is $1.2 billion each year. You add it together, it's $5 billion. It's about a $1 billion a year. Right now, the... Uh, universal so-called child care benefits, um, which Ms. Finley, uh, the Conservatives, are doing right now, uh, the total cost of it is $2.6 billion a year, and then they claw back the taxes from it. So the question is, is there better ways to spend this money? Um, should we, uh, a lot of working class and, and middle class families need this $100, there's no doubt about that, but it's a mother allowance, it's baby bonus, you know, we used to have baby bonus and then it was then taken away, it's now back, but none of that is really childcare, so let's put that aside, that's a mother's allowance or parent's allowance, whatever you want to call it. We still do need the kind of investment of at least a billion dollar a year extra to create thousands more spaces so that working parents really right. would have universal high quality affordable child care just like they do um, in many other countries and if, if kids uh, can have <coughs> education why can't they have child care just because the kids a bit younger you we, know guys we've got to leave the child care uh, this debate for now here I, we're obviously going to pick it up it's a very important debate I want to thank the parliamentary secretary to the Minister of Canadian Heritage uh, Dean Del Master the liberal industry not Dean Del Master Tim Oppel, the conservative. <laughs> I got Dean Del Mastro say. right beside me here. I got Mike Savage and Olivia Chow, guys. I've got three other MPs right beside me. Tim Oppel, Mike Savage, and Olivia Chow. Thanks, guys.